Cinema 4D gives us some primitive shapes so that we can start our work quite easily. And over here, these are the shapes that I'm uh, taking a reference to, not take, uh, taking a reference to platonic. Over here, our figure, landscape, bezier, our guide. I'm using other shapes right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use a plane object to model each and every uh, primitive shape right here, which will give us better understanding of how modeling actually works. And you'll be able to model anything if you can make up these things as a scratch. So now let us take our plane object, which is going to be what I'm going to use to model everything else. So all of the uh, shapes right here, as you can see, I'm going to create a replica of them by using this shape right here. So let me just go over here and these are the width and height segments as you can see so i'm going to turn this over into one and in order to see the lines i'm going to press nb so that i can see all the shaded areas right here they might not be perfectly uh what, what it is uh, but we are going to try to get closest uh, clo closer as possible so over here i'm going to duplicate these out for each one of the shapes as you can see right here just like that and there you go so we got all of the shapes right here so let us turn each one of them in to the respective objects as you can see right here so let us go on with this one right here so you can see that this is kind of like a pyramid so i need to extrude this out so i can simply right click over here until i get the extrude but before that i need to convert in it into polygon so i'm going to press c right here and it is turned into a polygon shape and I'm going to take my face right here. So let us right click and click on extrude and select the face just like that. And over here on the tool, I'm just going to enable the caps right here because I want the ends to be closed out here. So on the tool, I'm just going to say apply. So it actually comes up just like that. And you got this covered up as well. And over here, you can see that it actually become, became cube right here. Anyways, I'm just going to make this a cube as well because now uh, you can see that that is how it works. So I'm just going to switch the objects right there so that it's easier for me to actually work around. So I got the cube right here, as you can see, and this is done. Uh, for the pyramid, it's similar to how you make a cube itself. So I'm going to turn this into polygon as well. I'm going to select my face right here. I'm going to right click, click on extrude right here, and I'm going to enable the caps, apply, drag it up so there's another cube as you can see and what i need to make, do to make it a pyramid is simply grab the scale tool right here and i need to scale it down just like this and i can enter the value over here so i'm going to add in zero and zero from this slide and you can see that that is the pyramid and there we are done with the second object that we have just like that okay so this is the second object i'm going to go to the object selection mode give this one here as well. So now let us go on with this one. That is a tank right here. But before that, let us go to a simpler shape, something like uh, this one right here. So let us work around with this. For this, we need to make it a cube first. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to uh, rescale the size a bit. I'm going to turn this into a polygon. I'm going to select my face just like that. And I'm going to extrude this out. So right click, extrude, and apply let me just drag it up right here and over here now i need to apply uh the subdivision on this so subdivision surface is what i'm going to apply here and this is the shape that i want to apply in uh select for subdivision surface right here and drag it underneath the subdivision surface right now it's not there yet and let me just disable the subdivision surface and here i'm going to add in as loops over here just like that so i'm going to select my um edges right here and i'm going to press uh k l so that i can bring up the as loop tool right here one at the top and one at the bottom just like this and there you go that's how you actually bring it in and if you were to turn this on now if you were to turn this on now you can see that you, you're starting to get a circle shape you also see the shape right here so if i have two shapes right here you can see that that becomes a cylinder just like that and you go over here add another shape and there you go all of this from a plane as you can see uh, right there so i got this shape covered up as well so now if i were to go over here onto the subdivision surface and move it around and there you go so that is 
another thing that you can work around with. So let us go on to the next one and that is this one. All right, there you go. So that's simply uh, a round version of the uh, um, of the uh, plane itself. So I'm just going to select my plane right here. So on the plane, let me just select this out, select uh, the object out right here. And now I'm going to increase the uh, segment right here. So I'm going to increase the segment and I'm going to uh, drag my edges right here. So I'm going to go over on to the edges right there and click here. Let me just select this, these points right here. But to do that, I need to convert this into polygon. So I'm going to select all of these points. And then what I can simply do is I can scale it up. So I can scale these out onto the side and there you go, you got a circular like shape. So let me use subdivision for this again. So subdivision surface right over there. And I'm going to select my uh, object right here. So on the plane object. So I'm going to go to the object mode, select this and the plane mode is going to be here. And there you go. There is what you have. So um, let me just select the subdivision surface and keep it there. And there you go. So you have that one done as well. Of course, the polygon might be different, but you get the idea. So that's how you work around with this. So let's work around with the next one as well. Let's work around uh, with the spear right here. For the spear, it's quite simple actually, although it might seem uh, very difficult. So I'm going to go over here onto the face again. I'm going to convert this into a polygon. And over here, I'm going to right click and click on extrude. I'm going to apply and drag it up just like this. There you go. So drag it up into a perfect cube. And I'm going to apply a subdivision surface onto this. So I'm going to select the shape right here on the shape and click over here drag it onto the subdivision surface and there you go, you got a spear. So once you uh, spear I add in subdivision to a cube, it becomes a perfect spear as you can see, a quad surface spear, there you go. So that one is done as well. Let's work around with this one. So this is kind of similar to the pyramid that we worked with. So I'm going to select my face and uh, I'm going to turn this into a polygon again, select this and I'm going to extrude this out over here and then I'm I'm going to apply, there you go. So I'm going to drag this up and I'm going to resize this. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do similar to what I did with pyramid right here. So let's resize it to zero, zero right there. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a subdivision surface to this one. So I'm going to select the object right here, this object and drag it onto the subdivision surface. And I'm going to use as loop now over here onto the plane. So I'm going to uh, press uh, KL uh, so that I can access my as loop right here. I'm going to disable this right here to go into the as mode. And over here on the top, I'm just going to, let me just enable this so that you can actually see what happens. I'm gonna add one as loop right here, another as loop to actually make it more uh, sharper. And over here at the bottom, I'm gonna add in again, and another one just like this. And there you go, you got the cone as well. And there you go, you are done with this one as well. So I'm just going to drag this on over onto the left again. So I'm going to go to my object mode on the subdivision surface and there you go. So let me just keep this over here as well. Okay, so let's go on to the next one and the next one, Okay, let's just go over with the capsule right here. So the capsule is similar to this one. Okay, so I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to uh, turn this into a polygon right here. And then I'm going to select the face. And I'm going to extrude this right click um, and extrude, uh, apply, drag it up. So I'm going to make it a bit taller right here and I'm going to apply a subdivision surface to this. So I'm going to go over uh, onto the shape right here, select the shape uh, and then drag it onto the subdivision surface just like this. There you go. So now on the plane, I'm going to um, make this like a capsule. So I basically need to add an S loops again. So I'm going to go to the S over here onto the plane. I'm going to disable this right here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to not right click, sorry. So I'm going to press KL on my keyboard and I'm going to add an S loop, not right at the top, but somewhere over here and somewhere over here, just like that. And once I enable this, you can see that you, it gives a capsule like form right there. So you can go over here on 
right there but you can see that it, it it is actually not working out quite well so i'm just going to go on to the subdivision mode and drag this down as you can see right here so it becomes more like a capsule according to what you want so you can go over here as well so i'm just going to make sure that the capsule thing actually works up so i'm just going to go over here and there you go now it looks more like a capsule as you can see i do need to add in a bit of height as you can see but anyways get the idea so i'm just going to uh select everything so maybe i want to select all the faces right here not all the faces over there but i'm going to go over here on to the selection tool on the light selection all right so i'm just going to select the top faces right here and drag it a bit up and that will do the trick so if i were to turn this on you can see that it is more like a capsule now so all i need to do is resize everything out so i'm going to go to the object mode and i'm going to resize this out so if i were to resize everything all right there you go so okay not working out quite well but anyways if i were to resize it out like this there you go you got the capsule as well and there you go so you got this object as well so now there are other objects with the holes in between as well but before that we also have this one so we almost forgot about this one so similar to the capsule and the cylinder right there i'm going to uh convert this into a polygonal shape again so polygonal shape right here and i'm going to extrude this out so uh, this is already con converted into polygon polygonal shape. So I'm going to go to my selection tool Right there you go. I'm going to select this right click extrude and uh, There you go right click extrude apply and drag it up. There you go. So that's that's one right so I'm just going to go over here on to uh, my subdivision surface and then I'm going to select my object right here so i'm going to select my object and drag it onto the extrude surface right here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that it actually looks cylindrical just like that but uh, there's a bit of a bulge in between as you can see so we're going to work out work around with that as well so i need to turn the subdivision off right here i need to add in some details as you can see so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to uh Go over on to my edges right here. I'm going to add in an S loop. So I'm going to press um, KL right here. And there on the KL, I'm going to press over here, click here, and click here because I want the in the betweens to actually bulge up a bit. I'm going to add in an S loop over. Um, but before we add in the S loop, I might want to make it into a cylindrical shape over here so that it actually works out well so i'm going to grab on my points right here so grab on my points these ones and these ones just like that and over here i'm going to grab on these two as well and these two as well just like that all right so once you do that i'm going to go over on to my scale tool and give it a cylindrical shape just like that so now I'm going to grab the in between this ones, uh, these two points right here. So I'm going to grab these two points and then drag this up right here. So once I take this into subdivision, it'll actually work around and look like uh, the oil tank right here. So now uh, I'm going to select the objects. So I'm going to go over here and select the object right here. Uh, turn on and you can see that you start getting the shape right there. So I'm going to go over into my S loop and press K L. So my S loop is on. Keep two over here because I want it really sh sharp and two S loops over here, just like this. So once you do that and turn this on, there you go. You got the all tank as well as you can see. So uh, turn this on, just like that, and there you go. You got the all tank oil tank as well. So if I were to go over here and select the object, uh, there you go. So let me just scale this down a bit, just like that. Uh, just select the object itself. So I'm just going to go over here and set, scale down the object, just like that. And there you go. So you got the cylinder as well, as you can see. So if I were to move this around to the side, there you go. You got that object as well. Okay, let us go on with the object with holes now. So these are two. So I need to work around a bit carefully with this one. So uh, let me add in the width segments. So I'm going to add in 
uh, three by three width segments and I'm going to turn this into a polygon now so I'm going to go over here and press uh, a C so I'm going to go over here and then delete the space right here so I kind of like want to make this shape right there and now what I can simply do is select all of the faces right there and then next to this but before we do that I'm going to add in a subdivision surface um, so I'm going to go over here onto the shape right there and drag the shape onto the subdivision surface just like this and you can see that there's the round edges as you can see right there I'm going to go over here and then disable this layer just like that so I'm going to select all of these over here and then resize this so I have selected the points so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to resize these so they actually look round just like that as you can see right there I want the center round to be bigger so I'm going to select all of these as well so I'm going to select all of these and just expand this out so I'm going to expand these things out right there so it is more round as well as you can see right there so I'm going to use the same surface to actually make this shape as well so I'm going to uh, delete this plane out and then this uh, delete this plane out I'm just going to copy this plane right here not this plane but this one as you can see so I'm just going to select this subdivision surface right there and then just copy this out so I can make the same shape right here I like cheating a bit anyway so I'm going to go all over into the plane object right here turn it back this is the shape as you can see right there and now what I can simply do is I can select um, select the faces right there so I can select all of the faces and I can extrude this so I can extrude this I can apply and drag it up just like that and there you go you got the cylindrical shape as well so I need to add in an edge loop as well over here so I'm going to go over into this side and I'm going to um, say KL right there and click and click again uh, click click right there and click and then again one more there you go so there you go all right so once I do that I'm going to enable this and there you go you can see that outside is okay inside is looking quite weird so let me just fix that out as well so inside what I'm going to do is add in two as loops again two as loops right there so it's sharper and at the end as well so just go over here onto the end and click here and click here as well and there you go so this is how you actually work around um, and create this so uh, I have almost everything complete I just have one shape remaining now so I'm going to go over here on to uh, the surface so let me just go on to the object right here and move it around into the side as well so let us go on with the last object so this one is again quite easy again although it looks difficult so I'm going to go over here on to the object itself so I have my object selected I'm going to turn off the uh, subdivision and now I'm going to select all of the faces right here and I'm going to extrude this so let's extrude this and apply and drag it up and there you go now once you turn on the subdivision right there it becomes like a donut as you can see just like that and that that's it actually that's just it so I may want to actually uh, bring this shape down a bit so I'm going to go over here and then bring the shape uh, down a bit just like that and there you go all right there you go so you have all of the shapes ready so that's the power of modeling right here so you do not actually need any primitive shapes you can create everything out of scratch but these are just there so that it actually helps you out so I can go to the object right here and let's see uh, how everything you can actually make them exactly the same but everything is made out of it in an easy way as you can see and now if you were to see it you compare these are all of the shapes that we made from scratch from a single object so this is actually what we can do um, with the power of modeling so uh, well you can practice this out and if you can do this then you can actually uh, model in a very great level of detail so uh, do practice this out and I uh, hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe